Hey guys, Kim here from Dig and Hang. I'm gonna show you how I spruced up this cabinet. When I originally got it, it was all solid white. I'm gonna show you how I painted it, decoupage the size, and also added a really fun and funky scarf. Yes, an actual scarf. So if you wanna see how I made it, check it out. So the other day we just found this really awesome cabinet that's nice and shallow so it doesn't get in the way when you open the front door. It's a nice accent below the television. And the other thing we really like is it has a glass door so we can enjoy the decorations inside, but it's still safe from the baby and she can't get to it, which is perfect. All right, so I'm gonna start painting and decoupaging this. And what I decided to do for the colors, I don't wanna make it too complicated. I wanna keep it pretty simple on the face and the top. I just wanted the accents to be on the side. So on the front, I'm gonna go with a really nice lime tree green. On the top, I'm gonna go with a nice blue. And then on the side for my stripes, I'm gonna go with a purple, a pink, and an aqua color. And um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be going with. And before I put the stripe on the side, I'm actually gonna be decoupaging uh, some finished word search pages and the stripe is gonna go over that. So the cabinet is coming along well. I have the top painted as well as the front. Those colors are almost dry. I just have one more touch up and then I'm gonna put a finish on it so it's protected. Then I'm gonna move on to the sides. So for the sides, I'm gonna be decoupaging and I like to use um, matte Mod Podge. I have that all ready. I'm gonna be using that and what I'm going to be putting onto there are these finished word search puzzles. Uh, my grandma really loved to do word search puzzles. Um, she unfortunately can't see anymore, so luckily I kept all these. Um, they're really meaningful to me. So I'm gonna decoupage it onto the side here. Once I get that done, then I will do a rainbow stripe. So I'm starting to fill in the paper on the side of the cabinet. I am using word search puzzle pages that are finished and it's not wide enough or long enough to do um, two together on here. So what I'm doing is staggering them and then I'm gonna come back and fill the empty spots in so there's a little bit of a pattern going on. I'm gonna do that to both sides and then I'm gonna coat it with a layer of Mod Podge once I've squeegeed it, you wanna make sure you use a squeegee, any kind of um, paper that you're decoupaging on. Um, the squeegee is really important because it helps get out all of the air bubbles so it's nice and flat. Um, once that dries, then I'll do a layer of the Mod Podge over it, let that dry, and then mark off uh, with tape where I'm gonna be doing my rainbow stripes. So we have the entire side of the cabinet decoupaged. Now we're at the point where we're gonna remove the excess pages that are hanging off the feet so that it's flush with the feet. Just take sandpaper and go along the edge to pull any of the excess off and make it nice and flush so that it's a clean cut. And then we can go ahead and put the Maj Podge over this entire part so it can dry. Okay guys, so sometimes inspiration strikes right when you're doing stuff. Uh, I was cutting the strips over there for the rainbow and I thought to myself, I have some really fun scarves that I got at the thrift store and I wonder if any of them would look pretty decoupaged onto the side of the cabinet because then it would mimic the fabric on the walls. Um, I've never decoupaged a scarf before, but I'm gonna give it a whirl and see how it goes. It's fairly thin, so I think it would work. I'm gonna leave the little tassels on too. Let's give it a try and see if it, see what happens, why not? All right, so what I'm gonna do is take my scarf and I'm gonna fold it in half and cut it directly in half and I'm gonna decoupage it from the very top down. It's not gonna go all the way, but I think it'll be fun. It'll kind of give a nice um, illusion of it hanging from the side of the cabinet. So to give you an idea of how I'm gluing it on here, um, I'm just doing maybe like two inch sections at a time 
Um, what I'm doing is just lifting up the scarf, putting Mod Posh on this back part, and then carefully pressing it down so that it's straight and flat. And then once I get all of that done, I'm gonna take my Mod Posh, come back to the top, and start coating it with the Mod Posh on the front. That way it can seep into all those little cracks and make sure that it's grabbed on to the surface itself so it stays on there and it's good and sturdy. Once that is done, then I'll do the seal. When you're putting your layer of Mod Posh on top of here, if you notice that any of these edges are kind of popping up, just put some Mod Posh under there and glue it as well. That way it'll stay nice and flush to the cabinet. So I just finished it and it turned out so fantastic. I am so in love with it. The front is really simple. It's not too complicated so that it doesn't take away from what's inside, which is great. The top has some nice accents with the plants and the pom-pom since it's a nice solid color. It does, it's not too much going on. And then the side is just so fun with the little tassels dangling and the scarf. It just really ties everything in this corner together. It looks really nice and I love the texture of the fabric here and the pom-poms playing with the texture that's on the hoop art. So that is how it turned out. And there is a final view of what it looks like in the space. So I hope you got some inspiration and some interesting ideas from this project. Just goes to show that materials you normally wouldn't think of, such as a scarf or an old book, could totally be used to decoupage onto furniture to give it a completely custom look that's really fun and funky and that could fit perfectly into a space in your house. So. Go ahead and experiment. Don't be scared to try things. You might surprise yourself with how cool it turns out. If you guys are looking for any more inspiration, go to digandhang.com. We got tons of projects and you can also find colorful artists there, lots of other DIYs and lots of really great gallery wall tips. And remember, if you dig it, hang it. It doesn't have to be home decor. If you love it, hang it up for everyone to see and enjoy it. All right, guys, till next time, take care. Bye.